Hi, I'm going to show you how to embroider this Goldworks seashell. So this one is part of an under the sea hexagon I'm doing for my crazy patchwork quilt. Um, I've got this template here, I've put it on my website so you can cut it out and there's um, shells in all different sizes. So you just need to select the size that you want and then very carefully cut it out with a, a set of little scissors. I have some gold coloured felt. I'm just pinning the template to it and drawing around it with a fine uh, pen here just so that I can uh, then cut the piece of felt out. So there's my little felt template. I'm just going to now draw in the other detail on the shell because we'll need that in a minute. I'm now going to pin that to my backing piece. You can see I've already done a little fish and a limpet and those videos are available on the channel as well. Um, you can go to craftyattic.com and see the videos there also. So I'm just using a piece of uh, regular machine thread in a yellow. I've run it through some dressmaker's wax or beeswax. This is to put a, a nice slippy coating on the thread so that it doesn't knot. Um, when you're using it with the goldwork bullion, um, if you don't uh, put the wax on it, the little fibres catch in the metal and can pull it out of shape. So I've got some here, um, shiny silver, bullion wire. Um, we sell these at craftyattic.com. They're quite inexpensive, uh, £2.99 will buy you two metres. So before you work with any of the bullions, you need to stretch them slightly so that when you're couching, the uh, thread you're using will disappear between the coils. Um, and if you're going to chop it up and use it like little beads, um, you will find that it will contract to the length of your stitches if you've pre-stretched it. So um, always stretch it very slightly first. So I'm just couching down uh, one piece of the bullion here along the opening in the shell. I'm just going to do exactly the same with the, the top lip there. I'm just couch this down. You'll notice I'm using white thread because I've got a silver bullion. That helps the threads disappear a little bit more. got some dull silver now. I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the uh, shiny silver bullion and stretch it very slightly and I'm going to cut it into little tiny, uh, they're called chippings, so just little tiny uh, bead sizes really so that um, I can use them to fill in this area in the opening of the shell. So just cutting into little tiny pieces here, they're probably about two, three millimeters long and I'm just going to thread them like beads onto the needle and stitch them down until the inside of this area is covered with these little chippings. I have some uh, bright check pearl now. Um, this is one millimetre, same thickness as the other bullions. I'm stretching it slightly. Bright check pearl is a faceted uh, wire so that it, it does shine and sparkle a lot more than the um, the other wires. So this will give us a nice contrast between the edge of our shell and the detail on the shell and the other bits that we're filling in with. So again I'm just couching down around the edge of the seashell at the top with this bright check pearl. I'm going to use uh, the same bright check pearl to outline the rest of the detail pieces on the shell. So when you start and finish a piece of couching, you can just catch the first two or three coils um, with the thread, uh, stitch it down, anchor it in the right position, and then you can just couch very easily. So I'm now going to couch around in loops. So starting on the right, working down along the line across the centre of the shell and up to the uh, other bit of bright check pearl that we've already done. 
and I'm just going to carry on doing those loops until I've um, outlined all of these little sections on this shell. I have some shiny gold uh, wire now. I'm going to stretch that slightly and cut that into little chippings, just as I have done before. You don't want to stretch it too much, but you do need enough there for you to uh, be able to get your um, threads through if you're couching. Um, when you're using them like this to fill in, if you've stretched them first, they will actually contract to the, the length of your stitch, so it makes life really easy for you. Um, they're very well behaved. It's not like using beads where you've got an exact length and you have to stitch to that. So I'm just now going to fill in this uh, bottom section here. I'm drawing an imaginary line across the bottom section of this lip and I'm just going to colour that in really with these tiny uh, shiny gold pieces. You can see that I've put all of the pieces uh, running in the same direction. I've switched to some light gold uh, dull wire now um, to get a slight difference. Um, I've stretched it, cut it into chippings and I'm just using exactly the same method to stitch these down. I'm going to put a slight um, turn on these so that they look like they're curling over the top of the shell. And You'll see what I mean in a moment. The um, little threads here will start to arc over each other and I'm doing that by using threads um, or little bits of chipping that are slightly longer and just allowing them to bend around another piece that's forcing the curve there. This really is so quick to do, it doesn't take any time at all and they look really beautiful when you finish them. So I'm going to fill in the rest of these pieces um, it, using the dull gold and I'm going to follow the outline, the contour here of this, the semicircle across the bottom of each section. And I'm going to lay the uh, bullion chippings next to each other so that we continue that shape and that direction up and over that section. And I'm going to do the same in each section so that we have all the chippings running in a semicircular direction up towards the top of the shell. So you can see there I filled in a couple of sections. So you can see the uh, little chippings are all running in the same direction. I'm going to continue that down um, to the very last section on this little shell until it's all filled in. It's just posh colouring in really, isn't it? So you can get these uh, supplies from craftyattic.com. We do uh, free postage over if your order is over £5 and you're in the UK. If you're elsewhere in the world, um, if your order is over £25, we'll ship to you totally free of charge. So there's our, it's my little finished piece ready for my hexagon, my under the sea hexagon and there's our little seashell finished. So I've put a link where you can download the template, in, it's in the description box on the YouTube video um, and I've put it actually next to the video on my website as well so you can find it nice and easily. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, hope you have a go because it's really good fun. Thank you for watching, I'll be in touch with another film soon so subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, bye!